everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of What's That? The show where we talk all about Adobe Captivate. Today we're going to talk about Adobe Photoshop. That's right, because Photoshop is one of the exciting applications that's included in the e-learning suite. I thought that it would be great if we talked a little bit about how we can use Photoshop to create specialized graphics for Captivate. Here you see I've just opened a regular old JPEG image. The first thing I do when I open a Photoshop image, I always duplicate this first layer over here when it's a JPEG. That turns it into a layer so that I can edit it more easily. Plus, it gets that other one back as a, as a copy because, believe it or not, sometimes I make mistakes. Okay, so we're going to be working today with a tool over here. This tool is called the Quick Selection Tool. Now, notice how the Quick Selection Tool box has this little black triangle. If you click the little triangle down in the corner there, you can actually pull it out and you'll see that it's also the magic wand tool, that's right. And so it may appear to you like this as the magic wand tool, or it may appear to you here as the quick selection tool. We want the quick selection tool. Okay, once you have the quick selection tool in hand, you wanna make sure that you're selecting the positive area. We're gonna work on the figure in the foreground, okay? So make sure the little plus version, not the minus version, but the plus version is clicked up here and then begin your selection. You're going to select and notice how this quick selection tool lets you just very quickly select whole clumps of the figure, right? That's awesome. Now I'm just dragging right now but you can actually let go and then click again and drag again. Now here this part's a little fussy. I gotta get right out here to the sleeve. I want to make sure I get that sleeve in the picture, okay? I'm going to try and get all of the pixels that have the body in the foreground. So I'm gonna work carefully, whoops, I had a little bit of a over selection there. You see that? I got just a little more than I expected. Okay, that's not too bad. I think that's gonna work pretty well, except this area here is gonna be a problem, and this area here is gonna be a problem. So let's just take a look at that and see if we can fix that just a little bit. I'm gonna grab the minus tool to take some of it away. I'm going to click here in the middle of this little blue zone, and there we go. I selected that area. I'll try just one more time here, and I selected that area. That's pretty good. That's going to make sure that we fill okay there. I'm going to try it one more time out here, and just fill that zone there, and hopefully this won't be too much problem here uh, with the cable. We'll see when we get back to that. Okay, so now I basically have the whole figure selected. That's the first challenge, all right? Now, with that first whole character selected, the next thing I'm going to do is click on Refine Edge. I click Refine Edge, and then immediately you'll see that my figure then turns into a black and white view. Now, that's because I have that view selected. Yours might look like this, okay? And if it does look like this, then you're going to want to switch it, right? You're going to want to switch it to the other view. And already I see one problem, and that's that these headsets didn't quite get selected. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this, and I'm going to go back in, and then just using my positive selection, I'm going to select those headsets, kind of fill out the rest of that area. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now we'll go back to Refine Edge. Remember, you're going to choose the black and white view, then just click anywhere to get rid of that. Make sure Show Radius is off, Show Original is off, Smart Radius should be on, make sure that's checked on, and then set it. Here it's set to about 40 pixels. You'll want to set it to an amount that's appropriate for the size of your image, okay? These should all be set to zero. You want to make sure that Decontaminate Colors is on and that the amount is all the way up to 100%. Set the output to new layer with layer mask, all right? Once you've done that, then we're going to use this tool right here. We're going to use the Refine Radius tool to go in and actually paint a more refined radius around those edges. So we come in here to the hair, and we're just going to paint, almost like messy finger painting, right? We'll paint over all the edges that we think are going to be fine, kind of uh, feathery kinds of edges, any kind of edge that you think hasn't been picked up really effectively, we'll just paint right over it, okay? Now notice that when we did that, we ended up with all kinds of new detail that we didn't have before. There's another tool that will allow us to refine that even more because look here, this section is too much selected in between here. We've got to get rid of some of that. So we're going to come to the other tool, the Erase Refinements tool. 
and then in here we'll just erase a little bit inside these edges to get rid of some of that detail. That's better. That's looking much, much better. And then on the arm, I don't know if you noticed, we have the same kind of a problem there on the arm, and we don't want that arm to go invisible, so we'll paint just a little bit there, okay? Now, once we've done that and we're satisfied that our outline everywhere is basically doing what we want it to do, then we're ready to say, okay, well, that makes a good selection mask. We just say, okay, like so, and then voila, you'll notice that the background is now absent, okay? The figure is there, and the background has all been removed. That's what those little checkers mean, okay? So we just choose File, and then Save for Web and Devices. Now, when you're saving for Captivate, something that has a transparency, you want to be sure to save in the format of a PNG file. Use the PNG24. That means that it'll have plenty of pixels so that it does a good job of dithering around the edges of the hair and other places. And then just choose Save. I'm going to save this one to my desktop, and I think I'll save it to my desktop under a name like Dancing. I'll save that. Now I'm going to jump into Captivate, where I have a file all ready to go, and you can see I've got a background in there. I just choose File, and then, and then, whoops, I just choose Insert, and then Image, and I want to go to my desktop, and I know that those PNG files are over here, and I'll find the Dance and PNG file, and open it up. Wow, that's awesome. Look at how nice and clean that is, and now I'm just going to open up the Properties Inspector, all right. Now, one of the cool things that Captivate can do is it can actually fit to stage, resize to the stage size, a graphic that's been brought in like this. So you click the Fit to Stage button, and automatically Captivate will resize it so that it fits to the size of the stage really nicely. And I think we'll probably just use the arrow key there to move it over a little bit to the right. And now we're ready to take a look at it almost. Let's click on the gray area that will select the slide. See, I clicked on the outside the stage area, this gray area. That selects the whole slide. You see we're looking at the properties of the slide. And I want to change this, the quality, to a higher quality, 24-bit quality. Let me show you why. I'm going to leave it at a low bit, and then I'll show you what the project looks like. So you can see, look at that halo. That's kind of crazy, right? All that halo around the outside edge, clearly not what we had in mind. So what I'm going to want to do is select the entire slide and change that to a high 24-bit. Whenever you're working with transparent background images, to get rid of that outer dithering, you'll need to select that specifically. Last step we have to do, we need to make sure that that transition is actually set to no transition. So we set it to no transition for the image. And then we do the same thing with the background. And then we're ready to preview. All right, we'll preview that project, see how it looks. Oh, wow, that looks fantastic. OK, so lickety split, we're all done. That's it for this time. Don't forget to add it to your favorites. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe.